Back in 2020, Elaine Thompson Hara was at the peak of her performance. Fresh off her double gold medal victories at the Tokyo Olympics, she returned to the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene and delivered an astonishing performance, clocking an incredible 10.54 seconds in the 100 meters. This made her the fastest woman alive, with teammates Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sherika Jackson finishing second and third, respectively. This race mirrored the podium finishes of the Tokyo Olympics, demonstrating Jamaican dominance. Meanwhile, Shikari Richardson finished a distant ninth, showing the unpredictability of track and field. Fast forward to the 2020 for Prefontaine Classic, and the tables have turned dramatically. Shikari Richardson clinched first place, with an impressive time of 10.83 seconds, while Elaine Thompson Harris shockingly finished last, crossing the line in 11.30 seconds. This race marked Thompson Harris' first competitive appearance since last September's Prefontaine Classic and highlighted the volatility of athletic performance. Shikari Richardson's victory at the Prefontaine Classic was not just a win but a statement. Despite a slower start, trailing Julian Alfred of St. Lucia in the early stages, Richardson surged ahead impressively at the 30 meters mark, demonstrating her superior acceleration and control. She coasted across the finish line with a time of 10.83 seconds, the second fastest in the world this year, just behind Jaisha Sears' 10.77 seconds. Julian Alfred finished second in 10.93 seconds, while Dina Asher Smith of Great Britain secured third with a time of 10.98 seconds. Asher Smith's compatriot, Daryl Nita, finished just behind in fourth, clocking 11.0 seconds. These performances underscore the competitive depth in women's sprinting leading up to the Olympics. Reflecting on her victory, Shikari Richardson emphasized her growth and maturity as both an athlete and an individual. Her statement, I feel like I'm continuing to grow and develop into a mature young lady, a mature athlete, as well as a vessel that I am put on earth to continue to grow, highlights her evolving mindset and approach to the sport. On the other hand, Elaine Thompson Harris' last place finish at the Prefontaine Classic was surprising, given her stellar history. Crossing the line in 11.30 seconds, she fell short of her own high standards. This race was her season opener and first competitive appearance since the previous year's Prefontaine Classic, raising concerns about her form and readiness for the upcoming trials and Olympics. Shikari Richardson is gearing up for the U.S. Olympic trials next month in Eugene. Her current form suggests she is a strong contender for a spot on the U.S. team for Paris. Her journey has been marked by highs and lows, including a suspension that kept her from competing in the Tokyo Games. However, her steady comeback, highlighted by wins at the 2023 Diamond League event in Doha, the U.S. National Championships, showcases her resilience and determination. In response to her unexpected performance, Elaine Thompson Hara took to social media, Posting a photo with the caption, Journey of a Thousand Miles begins with the first step. 2020 for first step 3x. This message, accompanied by a gold medal emoji, signifies her determination to overcome setbacks and continue striving for excellence. Elaine Thompson Hara's career achievements are remarkable. Her 100 meters time of 10.54 seconds is one of the fastest ever, narrowly behind Florence Griffith Joyner's 10.49 seconds. Her Olympic successes in Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020, where she won double gold in both the 100m and 200m, placed her among the legends of track and field. However, her recent performances raise questions about her current form and ability to maintain her elite status. Track and field is inherently unpredictable, and the performances at the 2020 for Prefontaine Classic underscore this. From Shikari Richardson's resurgence to Elaine Thompson Harris' unexpected decline, the sport continually surprises both fans and analysts. This unpredictability keeps the competition exciting and emphasizes the importance of consistency and mental toughness. Shikari Richardson has emerged as a formidable contender for the upcoming Olympics. Her performances this season may have started on a low, however, this race was impressive and shows that she is in excellent form. Critics and pundits may have their opinions, but Richardson's recent victories speak volumes about her readiness and potential to dominate in Paris. Julian Alfred's second-place finish and Dina Asher-Smith's third-place performance highlight the depth of talent in women's sprinting. Marie-Josie Talou, who finished fourth, started her season strong but fell short in this race. These athletes remain strong contenders and will be ones to watch as the season progresses. Elaine thompson Harris' performance raises questions about her future prospects. Some speculate that she might be conserving her energy for the trials, 
aiming to peak at the right moment. Whether this is part of a broader strategy or indicative of deeper issues remains to be seen, but her fans and analysts alike are keenly watching her next moves. On the other hand, Shikari Richardson's performance this season cements her status as the athlete to beat. Her ability to perform under pressure and her impressive track record position her as a leading contender for Olympic gold. As the trials approach, all eyes will be on Richardson to see if she can maintain her momentum and secure her place in Paris. As the trials in the Olympics approach, the narrative in women's sprinting is evolving rapidly. Shikari Richardson's rise and Elaine Thompson-Harris' struggles create a compelling storyline. With the unpredictability of the sport, each race brings new surprises and challenges. Fans and analysts eagerly await the next chapter in this thrilling journey, anticipating outstanding performances and potential upsets on the road to Paris. What did you think of this year's Prefontaine Classic? Was it the race you expected? Or did the results surprise you? Share your thoughts in comments below. I'd love to hear your insights. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all the latest in track and field. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to keep the sports spirit alive.